Last week I made you a simple salad, but I thought I'd get back in the kitchen and turn the heat up a little bit. So today I'm going to make seared salmon on a courgette and pea risotto. Welcome back. I've always loved to eat risotto, so when I was in Italy I decided that I wanted to learn how to cook it, which I did at cooking classes at a beautiful villa out in the Tuscan countryside. So there we go, we've had the butter and garlic go in, and the onions. Next we're going to add our rice, you need to use aborio rice, that's a special rice to make the risotto nice and creamy. And of course, a splash of white wine, which is essential. Now you don't need to worry about the alcohol content of the wine because the alcohol actually burns off as you cook it, just leaving the flavour. From here we're going to start adding the stock. Now you want to make sure you heat your stock because if you add it from cold it halts the cooking process. So for about the next 20 minutes we're going to start adding the stock a ladleful at a time and just keeping on slowly stirring. The risotto is almost done so I've moved it to the back and it's time to take care of the salmon. We're going to sear the salmon in the pan which is going to lock in all the moisture and then I'm going to transfer it to the baking dish and finish it off in the oven for around 10 to 12 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And don't forget that squeeze of lemon on the top. While the salmon's in the oven, we're going to add the grated courgette and peas. Some parmesan cheese. I always like to add a little dollop of cream cheese as well. And some chopped chives. Stir these through. Cover and leave to stand for about five minutes. So here it is, seared salmon on a courgette and pea risotto. We're going to garnish that with some fresh chives. Stay tuned because next week I'm going to be making coconut crusted prawns and a Tahitian raw fish salad.